It's the very first afternoon of the Conservative Party convention here in Halifax, and I found someone who wants to end supply management. Where are you from, and why can't you stand supply management? Well, I'm uh, from the Halifax area, and uh, I split my time between Ottawa and Halifax for work, and I, I'm not connected in politics as far as a career goes. But why, why are you against supply management? So I'm opposed to supply management because it charges, as a consumer, we face inflated prices on basic food items like eggs, milk, poultry. It limits our choice that's available on the grocery shelf. And uh, for those reasons, it's just not conservative. It's, it's a terrible policy that was brought in by Pierre Elliott Trudeau in 1972. And no real conservative, in good conscience, can support supply management. So I see that you've been giving out buttons. What has the reception been like for you as you stand outside this conference where it is official policy of the Conservative Party to support supply management? Well, the reception has been absolutely phenomenal. So there's, there's two types of reception. The first one is from the general membership of the party. I've actually emptied out three bags like this one. This is my fourth one. And we're just a couple hours into this. We're just a couple hours into this. And anyone that's connected to the party structure, I like to call the elites of the party, they just snub your nose and, and don't want to look at you and ignore you. And what about the regular people? Regular people love it. They're, they've been buying, they've been, uh, not buying, but they've been taking the buttons, they've been putting them on their jackets, their backpacks, just running around with them. They really, really love them. So there is a motion about supply management that may or may not make it to the floor. What have you heard about what's going on with that motion? Well, the feeling that I've been hearing from the regular members is that the process, unfortunately, sounds like it might be a fixed process because they only allow 10 policy resolutions to come to the floor and supply management is number 26 or 27 on the list and they give you a maximum of three hours to debate policy, which means there's a good chance that the clock will be run out and supply management won't even make it to the floor. So we just heard this afternoon that Max Bernier, the biggest, uh, I guess, the biggest activist within caucus against supply management has left the Conservative caucus. And it sounds like so far he'll sit as an independent. What effect do you think that's going to have on the movement, both within the party and outside the party, to end supply management? Well, I think that the grassroots membership is ready to end supply management. The problem is, is the party, for whatever reason, doesn't want to end it. And what I see the effect of that is it's going to tear the party apart. And I think that it's becoming more and more likely that we are going to see a new conservative party that's most likely going to be created as more and more members from Newfoundland to British Columbia give up if the party's not prepared to move on these basic conservative ideas. You know, as an Albertan, I would really hate to see that. We just spent 10 years wandering in the wilderness with a fractured conservative party. Do you feel like there was something that could have been done before today to prevent um, supply management from becoming such a divisive thing, both within caucus, but even in our trade deals with our friends in the United States? Most definitely. So in regards to the United States, they've made it very clear that unless Canada phases out supply management over five years, there will be no NAFTA deal. And you're from Alberta. Alberta and Saskatchewan's energy business depends on trade. If we start seeing a tightening of the border and trade agreements being thrown out the window because of egg and milk farmers, that is going to do great harm to Saskatchewan and Alberta's energy sector. Do you think that there's going to be another voice from within the party that will sort of do what Bernier was doing and rallying people against centralized control of these agricultural sectors? I think it's unlikely. Most of the membership of the Conservative Party, as far as elected representatives, not all, but a lot of them are cowards and they're afraid to speak out. And uh, unfortunately, the membership has to accept a party that wants to give corporate welfare to General Motors, 
corporate welfare to bombardier, wants to protect a cartel like supply management. They want to endanger things like NAFTA. So if you're a, a small government free market conservative, it doesn't leave you with a lot of places to call a home with the three old line parties. And so it might be time to start looking at creating a new party if on a policy front there's nowhere to call home. You know, I, uh, I understand your point. Um, but I hope that there are enough conservative members from within and maybe some conservative party MPs that are emboldened enough to listen to the grassroots to make some change. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time to discuss supply management with me today. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We're here at the Conservative Party Convention in Halifax. We've been banned from reporting, but that hasn't stopped us from coming. To see all of our reports, to sign our petition, to ask Andrew Shear to let us back in, and to cover the cost of our trip here, go to lettucereport.com.